This is Li Zheng, licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. I'd like to talk about diabetes today. Diabetes has type 1 and type 2. When I was a child, people always told me, you know diabetes is not related with your sugar intake, which is true back to old times, because type 1 diabetes is the most common one back to old times. And type 1 usually caused by different kind of reason. Now they define as autoimmune. It could cause by virus infection or other kind of inflammation, which makes pancreas stop working and producing zero level of insulin. Without insulin, when you eat any kind of carbohydrates, the blood sugar will shoot up. But now, in this society, type 2 diabetes become very common because we have so much processed food with corn syrup, simple sugar, which quickly goes to your blood within 30 minutes. When high blood sugar goes up sharply, it triggers the insulin goes up very, very quickly. That high insulin make your body move the sugar into fat cells instead of burn the sugar to produce energy. So high insulin is one of the reason causing inflammation. So type 2 diabetes usually related with desensitize the insulin receptor. To fix that, we have to stabilize our blood sugar, meaning we need to eat the healthy food so your blood sugar cannot shoot up too fast. If it's too fast, then the insulin goes up too fast. Then you do not burn the sugar. Instead, this sugar will be stored as fat tissue. And the first place it can be stored is liver. So type 2 diabetes related with abdominal fat accumulation, especially in your liver, causing fatty liver. So how can we treat this condition if you are already diagnosed as type 2 diabetes? Acupuncture can help you to improve digestive function so it will change your metabolism. Instead of store those high sugar, it will help your body to burn and produce energies. But you also need to combine the diet chains. In Okinawa, those 90, 100 years old people eat guava, sweet potatoes, and drinking tea. Those three things can stabilize your blood sugar. And also guava can reduce inflammation. We know any kind of disease can be linked with inflammation. So if we can stabilize our sugar and insulin level, reducing the inflammation, then we can avoid many kind of disease. The other tip to stabilize your blood sugar is early bed, early rise. Because when you get, go to bed too late, then around 5 a.m. in the morning, you still in deep sleep. And around 5 a.m., there is a surge of cortisol. Um, that's the natural uh, circadian changes. You cannot change that surge. So that's called the down effect. Naturally around this time, your cortisol goes up, your blood sugar goes up. If you already go into rapid eye movement sleep, your body actually started burning more calories. On the other hand, if you are in deep sleep, then this rising cortisol and the sugar will be causing inflammation because your sugar is not consumed or burned to produce energy. Instead, 
um, it will be converted to fat and stored. So if you talk to 90 or 100 years old healthy people, they usually go to bed before 11 and get up before 6. That's the best time to rejuvenate body and stabilize your blood sugar. The other tip is you want to eat dinner three hours before you go to bed because two hours after you eat, your blood sugar goes up high. If you are already in bed, then the blood sugar can be stored as fat tissue. So regarding acupuncture treatment, it's not only can improve your digestion, but also it improve your thyroid function. So you are eating the same amount of food, but you produce more energy. So you are not tired. You don't feel cold anymore. And the other benefits is it can also bring energy to pancreas. So the pancreas can produce more insulin, but it's not rising too fast because your body can adjust that to just the right level. So let's add guava, sweet potatoes, tea to your diet and uh, reduce the coffee intake because coffee can stimulate the insulin surge. So this sharply rising insulin can convert the blood sugar into fat. So you will be hungry much faster and eat more to bring up your blood sugar, but you actually does not burn the calories. You store the energies as fat.